Welcome to Overtime with the Oregonian. I'm Jen Burley, joined by Eric Anderson and Mike Richmond, and we're here to talk about week six of the Oregon high school football season. Specifically, we're taking a look at our game of the week. It's Westland at Sherwood. Eric, you were at Sherwood yesterday. What did you see from the Bowman? Uh, I see a team that's gaining a little momentum as we get deeper into the season. They're coming off two, two wins in a row. Last week they beat Twalt in 38-28 even though it wasn't the prettiest of wins, it was the win nonetheless. I mean, players in practice yesterday referenced that game saying, you know, they, there's a little bit of a letdown, they expected more of themselves. But beyond that, it's a little bit of a barometer for how Sherwood's going to bounce back from early injuries this season. They have David Morris coming back, who's been a sensational sophomore for them. Several players mentioned his play as one that, stood out, one that has stood out. So if Sherwood brings him back and they execute like we know they did it in Lake Ridge where they contain a very high passing offense, they should be able to contain Westland. Definitely, we'll be looking for that on Friday. And Mike, you were at Westland yesterday. You talked to head coach Chris Mueller, Miller. How do you think the Lions are gonna match up with Sherwood? Uh, well, the Lions are really young. They're not super big in their athletics, so they're pretty similar to Sherwood on that front. Uh, I think a lot of has been talked about because it's Chris Miller and because they've got a sophomore quarterback in Tim Tawa, a lot about the Lions offense that's averaging uh, 36 points per game, but really what has made Westland so good this year is their defense. Uh, they've got three senior linebackers and Brendan O'Brien, Colin Clark, and Nick Ucobitis. They're giving up 14.8 uh, points per game, second stingiest defense in Class 6A. If they can have a similar performance like that against Sherwood, 14, 15 points, I like the Lions chances. Great stuff right there. Well, we want to know what you think, so jump onto Twitter and use the hashtag OMGTweetDown. Let us know what you think will happen in our game of the week. You also want to go to OregonLive.com because we have brand new 6A and 5A media polls at the 6A level. Central Catholic still reigns at number one, no surprise there. Uh, Tigers number two, followed by North Medford at three, Grants Pass at four, and Jesuit at five. Uh, and at the 5A level, we have Silverton still at number one, Ashland two, Springfield and Hermiston are tied at number three, and we have Mountain View at number five. To check out the complete top 10 list, go to OregonLive.com and also look out for our, our new 4A coaches poll this week. Uh, you'll also want to vote in our poll to send us to a game you'd like to see extra coverage of. I'll be attending to a game both Thursday and Friday, so you get to vote for two games there. Uh, it should be a great week of Oregon high school football. We're very much looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next week.